In our last video, we have implemented human in the loop pattern using Google ADK agent. So as we have covered, we were covering the tool part over here. In this particular video, we are going to focus on the advanced confirmation. Instead of just passing a true or false, user can pass a certain payload. So in the advanced confirmation, we are going to implement this kind of scenario where user is going to ask for a weather from the Google ADK agent. And rather than just responding the weather information to the user, it's going to ask for in which format it want the temperature to be displayed, whether it's going to be Celsius or whether it's going to be Fahrenheit. And then user can pass their preference, whether it's going to be Celsius or Fahrenheit. And based on that, the user is going to provide the response to the user. So here, instead of just responding in the form of true or false, user is going to pass a certain payload. And based on that, the agent is going to give a response to the end user. So to implement that, we would go to our Visual Studio code and just like our earlier video, we are going to create another folder over here and this is going to be the payload folder. Under this, we are going to have the init.py file, the env file where we have our Google API key enabled. So instead of using the vertex AI, here we are directly going to use the Gemini model. So we are passing our Google API key and then we are going to have our agent.py code where we would write our main code. So just to get started with this, I can just copy paste the same code what we have used for Boolean confirmation. So I'm just going to take this and put it over here in the payload agent folder. And I'm just going to paste it directly here. As part of this, actually, we have to do certain modification in the code. Because in this case, user is going to pass a certain payload and we want to capture that particular payload. So we have to use another parameter over here and that is going to be called tool context. So just to get the tool context here from the tools only, we have to import tool context and we can just directly import the tool context from here. Now, once we have the tool context, we can directly pass it in this case in our method only. So we are going just going to name it tool context and it is going to be of type tool context. The first step would be just to get the tool confirmation. So I'm just going to use the tool context dot tool confirmation and this we can store it in a variable. I'm just going to call it tool confirmation and this is going to let us know whether, you know, any confirmation has been received or not. So in this case, if the confirmation is not received, then we are going to ask for the confirmation. Again, we are going to use the tool context and now we are going to call request confirmation. Now under this request confirmation, you can see we can pass hint, hint to let the end user know what exactly we are expecting from the user and then the payload. So we are just going to use the hint and under hint, you can pass any information. I'm just going to use it something like this. Please approve or reject the weather request and specify the temperature unit. Respond with a function response containing a tool confirmation payload. This is going to be my hint, which is going to be displayed to end user. And then under this, we are going to pass our payload. So payload would let us know how they have to pass this particular information to the agent. Here we are just going to pass like temperature unit and they can pass the Celsius or Fahrenheit. So default, we are going to keep the Celsius. So this is how actually we can provide the hint and the payload. Now, after this, if the user passes the specific payload, then we have to capture that payload. So just to capture that payload, we can use the tool confirmation from here and then dot payload. And because our key is going to be temperature unit in this case, this is how we are expecting the end user to pass that information to us. So we are just going to capture the temperature unit from here because this is going to be the key in the JSON. So whatever value user is passing here, whether it's a Celsius or Fahrenheit, we would be able to capture it as a temperature unit. Now, once we get the temperature unit, then we just have to modify our endpoint according to that. So whatever URL I'm using over here, it has the capability to give us the information in the Celsius or in Fahrenheit format. So if I'm passing the syntax like this, this is going to give me the temperature in the Celsius. If I just convert from M to U, then this is going to give us the response in the Fahrenheit format and same logic, I can just build it out here. So in this case, you can see the endpoint is going to be the same, whatever we have used earlier, but based on the temperature unit, we are just going to append the unit parameter in the main URL. So if the temperature unit is going to be Celsius, then we are going to append question mark M 
else this is going to be question mark u which is going to represent the foreign height unit now we do have our endpoint and the unit param defined based on the information which user is going to pass to us so we just have to call our endpoint and for that we are just going to update this logic a bit here we are passing our endpoint as we were passing it earlier only the new thing which you can see over here we have added this unit param which is going to signify whether the information has to be fetched in the form of celsius or in the form of fahrenheit so once you get a response it's just that like we just have to print it out here we are just printing it out like this you can print it out in whatever format you would like and if there is any error then we are going to return the status as error with the error description this would let llm know whether the call has been successful or there had been specific error so once we have our method defined just like this so we can just go ahead and include it in the agent so there is certain modification that we have to do over here as well so now we can just remove it from here as of now because we want this to be enabled for each and every city and then finally we don't have to wrap it up under the function tool because here we are not going to pass anything in the boolean format so this is not required in this case we can just pass it as it is like we were passing it earlier when we were just integrating any kind of tool with the agent only change in this case is how we have defined our tool and how we have utilized this tool context so before we run this code we also need to add one more thing over here which is going to be the return and it would allow us to wait for the user confirmation once we ask for the tool confirmation otherwise like you may get some error while executing the code so with this thing fixed we can go ahead and try to run it using adk web so for that we need to go to the parent folder which is going to be the tool in this case so i will navigate there so now we have to do the cd tool and then we can just go ahead and run adk web we can click on the given url and from here we can select the payload and let me just ask for any city weather information so in this case i can ask what's the weather in hyderabad and it goes to the agent you can see the same adk request confirmation got triggered and you can see here we are getting the exclamation mark so let me just open that and here you can see the hint which we have passed earlier please approve or reject the weather request and specify the temperature unit respond with the function response containing a tool confirmation so payload confirm false and then the payload information so in this case how we are passing that information to the agent that is also going to get changed so what we are going to do first we are going to just pass confirm but along with this we also have to pass the payload information so in this case this is going to be the payload and here we have to pass temperature unit and let's pass fahrenheit from here in the input and let's try to send it out and you can see like we were able to weather information which is in the fahrenheit format let's try to ask another city name and this case let's try to pass the celsius information so instead of hyderabad we can just say london so now we have corrected this particular format and we have sent this information to the agent and now you can see like we were able to get the response in the celsius format so this is how actually you can pass a payload to google adk agent and this adk web is going to help you to test it out so that's all what we have in this video thank you for watching